Hi, welcome to part four of a Siler Instrument quick tip on use of the map. On the map screen, we've talked about the zoom features and the panning features. When you hit the shift key on your keyboard or this little shift key here, it brings up a second page of control buttons. We've gone through filter, pan to, and options. The last key is layers. Layers automatically shows you all the things that you can have turned on from your current project folder. If you check an item, that means it's visible. So I can check multiple items. If I check an item a second time, you see it gets a little box around it. That means that that's active. This is visible. This is active. If I want to bring something in that's not in my current project folder, as long as it is in my user folder, I can hit the add key here at the bottom of the page and I can add surfaces, TTMs, roads, RXLs, XML files that include, here's a list of all the things that you can make active on a map. You can have an AutoCAD DXF file, an STR usually used in mines, Esri shapefile, land XML for both alignments and surfaces, RXLs, Trimble roads, and then other kinds of surfaces like the DTM, TTM, or as I said, XML surface. DXF, STRs, and shapefiles all have supportable layers. So in the CAD file, you can actually turn off layers within a particular DXF file on the map screen in Access. The last is the Options key here, and you can turn on and make things monochromatic, set null elevations for DXF files. If you want none, you got all and none at the bottom of the page. And that concludes this Siler Instrument Quick Tip.